you gotta feed the beast. You gotta fuel up. Um, I've got, this is a nice concoction I like to make, grilled chicken um, with some egg whites, an avocado, some a, a half cup of brown rice, clean carb. Um, and avocado is a good healthy fat, so it, it's mixing some of those you know nutrients that I need if I'm gonna be training um, at the intensity that I'm trying to train with. Today was a lot of fun. Uh, I played some, I played some questionable football today, um, but we'll talk about that here in a second. Talk about some of the things that I've learned with my technique and um, just, you know, overall health update. Yeah, let's talk about the technique in my, uh, my footballing. I'm gonna finish this up first. All right, so let's talk about that uh, that training session. I've got to say it's probably um, the most intense training I've done so far. Um, had a blast doing it. I'm feeling a lot better, losing a lot of weight, feeling um, just breathing easier a lot. Um, my muscles are very sore because I haven't lifted weights um, since I played sports back in 2016. So. You know, it's been about seven years since I've lifted heavy weight competitively, um, things like that. And I learned some things about my football technique. That's what you clicked on this video for. You didn't click on this video to get all the health updates. So let's talk about that technique. Let's talk about what went well, what went, what didn't go well. So I started out in the gym this morning, hit the weights. Um, uh, I did about 20 minutes on the, the stationary bike, um, just getting my my, my heart pumping, getting my blood pumping, things like that. And then I started working on um, on shooting, shooting technique. Um, so one thing that I found out um, at the end of my last session yesterday, I, I found out that based on the comments that you guys have left, that a lot of times um, I was having trouble because of where my plant foot, my off leg, was, was coming down. And so I realized that I was planting my plant foot um, quite a ways behind the ball um, and it was causing my accuracy to just be all over the place. So um, I tried to start fixing that by evening my plant foot, making it pretty much dead even with the ball or if, if not even just a little bit ahead of it. And I saw an instant improvement in the accuracy of my shots. Um, Everything was pretty much on target. I've had trouble kicking indoors, and I know that indoors is very different from kicking on the pitch, um, but I was more accurate indoors today than I've ever been um, because of that little adjustment of where my, my off foot was being positioned. So um, that was really nice, a nice feeling to know that like with, with relative ease, I can actually get the ball where I exactly where I want it to go um, accurately um, that was that was great so after you know shooting for a little while my my friend Isaac he came um, he's you know played play the sport his whole life as a kid growing up he and I meet um, once a week to kick it around and, and play um, and so he showed up and um, we started practicing on seeing if I, how accurate I could be um, with shooting from w while the ball is moving. So we found out, like with with that little tweak in my, with that little tweak in my technique, um, my accuracy on shots improved dramatically. But I was shooting from a stopped position, so I'd I would place the ball and I'd get a running start, almost like I was kicking a field goal, you know, and. I started to get much more accurate on those set shots, but if you're playing in a game, um, as you all well know, you, you don't get an, an awful lot of chances um, to shoot from a, a stopped position. So um, we started practicing on, he would pass the ball and I would you know, try to um, you know, play positionally and get to the ball and make, and make the kick on the move. And uh, it did not go well. 
let's just put it that way. It was, uh, it was a comedy of errors. <laughs> excuse not just because it was leg day doesn't give me an excuse for how poorly I shot with the ball off of a pass so you can check this out it did not go well at all and after we had finished with some this kind of drill of um, trying to shoot with with the ball being passed to me you know we worked a little bit on on passing worked a little bit on some some um, you know first touch and controlling the ball kind of thing. And then we, uh, at the end of our session, uh, we played a game. And I gotta say, I, I was so already spent after doing, um, you know, weight, uh, weight training and, um, you know, stationary bike. Um, I, my legs were, were wobbly. They were noodles. And, uh, we played a little one-on-one -on -one game. All right. So here's how, here's how the game goes. Isaac, since he is more experienced player than I am um, and in better shape than I am, uh, we set up a goal for him. It was a trash can, okay? So we set up the net for me and the trash can for him, uh, and then we played a little one-on-one. -on -one. I had a bigger goal to score in, and he had a little smaller goal just so it was a little more balanced, uh, a little more even match, and he still embarrassed me. It was an embarrassing I, I can't I can't do the leg day um, excuse, but uh, I was winded. I was out of shape. I was wheezing, breathing heavily, sweating all over the floor, sweating all over the ball. It was just it was a nightmare. But anyway, so this is the the game that we played here. Uh, you can check this out. Guys, I can't take it. I can't dribble worth a crap. Oh my gosh. Oh my lord. Why am I showing this to the internet? So the defense actually isn't that terrible. Um, defense is definitely my stronger suit at this point. It's more reactionary. I don't know what that was, guys.
So, he beat me four to nil. Um, we were trying to play to five, but I, I got winded. My heart started pumping a little too fast. And um, seeing as I am uh, diabetic and I'm trying to get my life back, I didn't want to push it too exceptionally hard. So I went ahead and uh, at, when, I, when I started to feel um, the heart pumping fast and and uh, that kind of pain, I said, you know what, it's time to, time to call it quits for today. Calm down, I'm feeling great. Um, came and ate my, my protein heavy lunch. Um, and, I, and my, my body's feeling awesome. Um, I'm just relaxing now. I'm gonna film some more videos. But anyway, this is an update on where I'm at as far as currently playing. Um, I'm, I'm driven. I, I want to get to a point where I can, I'm match ready and I can play and, and, and be, you know, I'm maybe never going to be a talented football player, but uh, at least to get to a point where I can play in a game, have some fun, and uh, maybe help out a club or a team or something on a on a small, you know, friendly scale. That'd be great. If you want to see more health and fitness kind of vlogs where I'm kind of covering my journey in, in the weight room and, um, and, and what I'm eating and those kinds of things, um, if you want to see that kind of content, comment down below. I'm, I'm kicking around the idea of starting a second channel devoted to that journey. Um, and if you would subscribe to that channel and you would enjoy those kind of updates, just let me know um, and I will get cooking on it. I'll see you guys in the next video.